In medicine and money, discount retailer Fred's is selling some of its pharmacy files to Walgreens for reported $165 million. Shares of Fred's shot higher on that news. Fred's is using the money to pay down debt. The chain based in Memphis also is laying off 80 people at its headquarters as it trims down its pharmacy business. The Senate could vote this week on a bipartisan measure that would funnel money into the opioid crisis. The package is said to include more than 70 bills and touch nearly all aspects of that epidemic. 115 Americans die every day after overdosing on opioids. Joining us now is Dr. Denise Alam. What are the latest misuse rates of opioids? The numbers uh, you know, continue to be uh, of significant concern. Last year we had over 70,000 individuals that we lost to opioid overdose. We continue to lose over 200 individuals every day. Most of these individuals are, you know, tend to be between the age of 17 and 55. So it, it remains um, an issue of significant concern uh, to our society. There is a high rate of relapse. Why is this happening? It's a good question. Uh, you know, the opioid use disorders, uh, they are um, considered to be uh, chronic relapsing um, diseases of the brain. Um, and uh, what is really important is uh, to understand the impact of uh, withdrawal on the maintenance of this disease or the relapse. So uh, the fear of relapse or inadequately treated uh, withdrawal, um, the fear of withdrawal inadequately treated withdrawal, partially treated withdrawal, all of these contribute significantly to uh, frequent relapses. What do you think is the best way to address withdrawal? Uh, well, in our field, we're very excited about the introduction of Lucimera as uh, one of our uh, treatment options. It is the first and only non-opioid uh, medication that helps us, uh, you know, treat patients and, and help them abruptly discontinue opioid use. Um, it can be used at any level of care, including outpatient, if the, physi if the physician is comfortable doing that. Um, you know, we uh, would recommend uh, doing this under the care of a physician. Um, the medication has, um, you know, some side effects like any other medication, lowering blood pressure, um, you know, lowering the heart rate, um, uh, some dizziness um, and dryness of mouth, that sort of thing. Um, Otherwise, uh, you know, it, it helps us transition patients off of opioids um, in, in a week's time or even less. Thank you for talking with us about this critical topic. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.